Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Modern Masters Volume 9, Mike Waringo. All right, guys, so here we go with these Modern Masters series. These books focus on uh, modern comic book artists um, who are, you know, masters of their trade, and these feature interviews and biographies and sketches and preliminary art, and they're just a lot of fun. I love Mike Waringo. Um, he has uh, no longer with us. I, uh, unfortunately he passed too soon. I had the good fortune of meeting him once at a convention and getting a really cool Wonder Woman sketch from him. And he was a super nice guy. I remember discovering his art at first. I want to say it was on his run on the flash. And I, uh, a lot of people don't like a cartoony style in comic books, but I really do enjoy that. Um, I think there's room for it. I think you can see it in some of John Byrne's art. It's funny, these are his obviously like early work. These might even be sample pages from his portfolio, it says. And so you can see how he evolved a lot. Um, speaking of Wonder Woman, these are some solid pages. I'm seeing sort of a Justice League, Adam Hughes kind of influence a little bit right there. But definitely see the bones for the storytelling. And this is when he would take over the Flash. I remember having a cool wear and go Flash poster on my bedroom wall. And he also did Robin, which was cool. And this great Rogue miniseries, Inks by Terry Austin, who of course is the best anchor in the biz. Fight me on that, I dare you. I'm just kidding. If you disagree, that's fine. But lots of great pencil work here. He would do Telos um, with uh, Todd DeZago, his uh, writer on Spider-Man, they work together. They have a good synergy together. Uh, Telos was a great story, very sword and sorcery which seemed to be kind of popular at the time. I think this was around the time uh, Joe Mad's Battle Chasers was out. And so it's a lot of, he did a fun run on Adventures of Superman. He draws a great Superman. Fantastic Four with Mark Wade, And he's had a lot of great memorable runs. I really enjoyed him as an artist and he has really missed. It's unfortunate. It's a lot of work from his book Telos here. I love seeing the layouts and stuff like that. There's an art gallery, Spider-Man. He draws a cool Spidey. Booster Gold. Maxima. This was some of his early DC work. So that's kind of uh, dark for Mike, Mike Waringo. A strip of a ship of fools. Yeah, that is disturbing with the decapitated heads. I mean, could that be a parody of Wonder Woman? Heaven for Fend. It's a cool Spider-Man shot there, Craven the Hunter. I love Craven the Hunter with his big ridiculous Siegfried and Roy costume. Young Justice, Fantastic Four. Oh, that's pretty. I like when artists get arty. That's kind of, uh, I think he did Daily Doodles. He had some, a blog or something, but a lot of fun art. These look like, I think that looks like him. Maybe a self character, self portrait there. Um, cool. Kitty Pride and Captain Marvel. The real Captain Marvel. The other one's Miss Marvel, by the way. Some fun sketches here. Phantom Lady. So Mike Waringo is a, a really great comic book legend. Sorely missed. And this is a fun look at some of his art uh, throughout the, his career. So these Modern Masters books are just great. I highly recommend them, especially if you just love the artist. They're kind of invaluable to getting a glimpse of their career highlights and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for taking a look at Mike Waringo Modern Masters with me. 
And please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and I will bring you more content later. All right, thanks guys.